What's up guys? Welcome back by this new video. Today doing the Hisui Cup and you can only use Pokemon from Generation 4 or the Hisui region. So Sneasler, Weirdier, uh, Hisuian, Samurald, those things. And today I'm going to test Munchlax in uh, the Hisui Cup and it will be assisted by Drifblim and Empelion. Munchlax it's a normal type, it has leg as fast move, body slam and mm. bulldoze as charge moves. And we'll just see how this will go. So let's hop straight into the first match against Spes... I don't know. We're starting pretty interesting, Drifblim against uh, Gliscor. Um, I know... Gliscor has potential to make the Night Slash that I unfortunately have to shield. I'm going for a Mystical Fire to lower the opponent's attack. Can I switch? No, I cannot make the catch, unfortunately. But I don't think this is the Earthquake already. So I can just let this go. It's the Earthquake already! Wait! It's already the... Okay, my mistake. <laughs> oh no. Um, Going for a uh, Shadow Ball here. Yeah, Shadow Glide Core, I think it's quite an annoying one. <laughs> to be honest. Going for a Shadow Ball. Once again, yeah, it still does quite some damage. I, like, I still like to share the ball from a from drift blame. Going for some legs here. Why is Munchlax just throwing water out of his eyes or mouth? <laughs> Never saw that animation. But opponent goes for Stone Edge. Good thing about uh, Munchlax is it's so tanky. The problem, other problem is I have to shield. <laughs> uh, opponent goes for Stone Edge, I will go for the entire farm down, Lick farm down. But the problem is I don't know if it is a good Pokemon on its own. So right now going for the Baldos. That isn't dealing much amount of damage. I'll go here for yeah, I've lost. <laughs> but I'm going here for bait. Maybe he will call the bait. No. <laughs> he calls it. I mean. <laughs> um yeah, first match didn't go exactly as planned. Oops, wrong league. So let's hop into the second one. Maybe this one goes a little bit better. And yet till now, I hope there is the best Yodon here and there. But we're going against Masochi. <laughs> going Trifling against Toxicroak. Ooh, this is a good lead. However, Toxicroak is able to make it to a Shadow Ball, so you have to be careful. I will lower first that attack of that Ampelion down, so you can just go for an entire Lick Farm down here. I can survive an Hydro Cannon pretty easily right now because of the attack drop, so for me it doesn't matter. Hydro Cannon isn't dealing much. I will go try to go for the lick farm down. But this goes very slow. <laughs> Maybe I needed to shield, but I'm going to go for a body slam here. Seeing how the opponent will respond to this body slam. KO is the Ampelion. Opponent will bring back his Toxic Croak. At least I can. Throw one more body slam here. Body slam 
did quite some damage to be honest. We don't have to forget that Toxicroak can throw a Shadow Ball on me instead of just sludge bombing me. So I'm going for the Mystical Fire. Opponent gives me free Hex. I really appreciate that. He will go for Mud Bomb. No problem. Opponent goes for Shadow Glade. That means I will go here for my Empalion. Um. Yeah, this could be close combat, so just in case I will shield. Yes, it's the close combat, perfect. That means I can just go for a pretty easy over farm here. I think for me the best option is to go just for a waterfall, waterfall farm down instead of going for drill pack or hydro cannon. But yeah, I've won, so that's very nice. And let's hop into the third match. And guys, if you want to see more of this amazing content, definitely press that like and subscribe button to not miss any video and hit that little bell. Because I'm already almost 250 subscribers, really wanted by the end of this month. So please press that subscribe button. And right now, Dream Lead Triple Limp against Gastrodon. Opponent switches into Drapion. That means I have a really good counter for that one. That's my Empalion. Look at already that three waterfall amount of damage that it did. Opponent goes for Crunch. There's quite some damage. But I can handle it. I really want my Draft Plume against this because Throwdown. That's just my dream for now. Um. I have, uh, I will just throw a shield here. I will go for complete over farm. I will really just want that Gastrodon on my Drift Blim. I think that's very nice to have. Opponent throws his Gastrodon, that means I'm going here for an Hydro Cannon. That deals quite some damage. Going for another Hydro Cannon. Will he shield his Gastrodon? I don't know. We will see. He isn't. Opponent in the back. It's Frostless. I have Mystical Fire. And I have a Munch Legs. Both are good. Against the Frostless. Go for Mystical Fire. Get shielded. Perfect. Bones will go for a little overfarm here. It's fine, and we'll throw an Avalanche that will consider the KO. But it's fine. Going into my Munch Legs. Because opponent doesn't have Triple Axel, he cannot choose Avalanche to shot Avalanche me. And that means I will win this, because look at that, there's leg damage. Opponent goes for another avalanche. Don't still do almost do nothing, so... Going for Baldos, and that considers the KO. And that means I can win this match. And Munch Lex just did it. Um, let's hop into the fourth match. Into the fourth match of the first week. We have won twice right now and only one lose, so it's all right. Not really special and mm. yeah, right now we will see how this will go. We are going right now against Yinsar. So we're starting, okay, it's win lead, Drift Plim against Drift Plim, really interesting one. I 
I'm just going for the bait. I can at least win the CMP. So I'm very happy with that. Oh, he calls the bait. Um, that isn't that good. He can have me. I'm just going for a lick farm down here. Hopefully opponent does not have any kind of fighting type. Otherwise, I think I've lost. Opponent goes for Mystical Fire. That just does absolutely nothing. Because Munchlax is so tanky. Oh no. Opponent has a Toxic Croak. That's just painful for me. Yeah, I think I have to shield. <laughs> no! Opponent makes a catch! Oh no. You're just kidding me. Throw back. Oh, not even the high trick. No, at least I can throw some waterfalls here and there. Opponent may just have me. That's fine. Avalanche won't do you that much mount. I'm just going for a body slam. And this should be enough to KO that frostless, yes, perfect. No, almost I wanted to go with a lick farm down. Ah Really unfortunate. Um, into the last match of the first streak. Two wins to two loses, so hopefully we will win it. Um, yeah, we will just see how this will go. Right now we're going against... Uh, Wes Riggs. Interesting name. Going. Ooh, starting. Okay, yeah, de decently. Decently against uh, Frostless. Ah, I wanted to make a catch. Wait, maybe I just did it. I hope it's won't be the Shadow Ball. No, it's your Avalanche. Perfect. Opponent throws in a Cresselia. You can pretty easily handle a Cresselia here. So I'm just going for an Hydro Cannon. This should be fine for the opponent. Um, he won't be able to KO me with one Cress not, so I can just pretty easily tank this. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I will just continue. I think on a CMP, going for an hydro cannon. Uh, I don't really have to win switch. At this point, but maybe it's fun always. But no, I don't need to. Opponent go for grass nuts, no problem. Can I just go? I think I will just go for that hex farm down here. Yeah, I think this will be another grass nut, but I will just shield it just in case. Yes, it's the grass nut, no problem. I will just go for an entire hex farm down. Opponent throws in Bestiodon. I know my shadow will, will do quite some damage against him, so that's fine. Going into Munchlax. Opponent! Makes a pretty awful mistake and brings in Frostless that just gets absolutely destroyed by my legs from my Munchlax. That's why Munchlax is pretty fun to use. But Avalanche does a huge amount of damage against me. I will just shield it because I will have a ton of energy left and maybe I can at least make it to two of those Baldos at the end.
going for the first ball those here. This deals for double super effective damage, so it will deal quite something. While those opponent is it shielding, making it to another ball those here. This Baldos will definitely be shielded. I can make it to a Shadow Ball, I think, on the CMP. So that's perfect. And I will win this match. But it was a good game from the opponent. But maybe I had to bring something like a fighter or something. But yeah, it's already too late. <laughs> um... Yeah, but three wins, always nice. Getting a drill burr as a reward. Making a uh, simple great throw on it. Um, maybe it's Hondo? No, not at all. So, claim my rank back to 23-21. That's uh, okay. And let's hop into... The second streak, first match, and we'll see how this one will go. Um, yeah, overall, right now I really enjoy Munchlax because it's very good against uh, a Frostless. But maybe something else mm. against Frostless is good as well, like a Bestiodon. <laughs> That's why I think people are bringing their Bestiodons here and there. So right now, terrible lead against the Bestiodon. I will switch straight into my Munchlax. Because Empelion is better to save for later. Very interesting that the opponent stays in here. Um, I can tank one Stone Edge. That's no, not a problem at all. Opponent still stays in. Going for Baldos here. I expected more damage previous match on the best Yoda with the Baldos, but still it's great. Going for another Baldos. Will the opponent shield this one? I don't know, but we will see. He is shielding it. Okay, very interesting. Um, I will go for Empelion here. Oh, uh, yeah, this won't do much. Stone Edge is not very effective. I will just go for the complete Water Farm Farm down. Opponent, which Pokemon will he throw? He goes into Cresselia, that means I'm going for Drifblim. Yes, already expected a Frostless in the back. Maybe I had to go for Mystical Fire, my mistake. At this point, go for Shadow Ball. Oh, that, okay. <laughs> that just destroys, okay. That means I can just pretty easily KO the opponent because I can just make it to two Shadow Balls while he can only make it to two Moon Blasts. But I'm having a shield advantage. That's very important. But that, I think because of my Munchlax, he couldn't go into his Cresselia or Frostless because they were both weak to... Uh, yeah, licks from <laughs> Munchlax. So right now into the second match of the second streak. You know, mm. Munchlax in the Zui Cup is pretty awesome, to be honest. I'm, I'm really enjoying him. Um, right now we're starting against Star Raptor, Shadow Star Raptor. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I have to do against this one. I 
I, I really don't know. I, it's gonna be Brave Bird. I, 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 oh, it's a fly, okay. Ah, I could have known that. Going for a Mystical Fire here. This will definitely be shielded, yes. One, two, three. And switch, making that catch on Empelion. Perfect catch, I love it. Um, the opponent switches into, I don't know why, into a Frostless, but pretty interesting to see that. Um, yeah, maybe I will just keep my Empelion, you know? Maybe it's safe to keep it for later. Going for a little over farm, making it to an Hydro Cannon. Seeing how this will go. Okay, it could do quite some damage. Going then for another Hydro Cannon here on that Shadow Star Raptor. We'll see how this will deal. Let's get the shield. I almost KO'd him. Um, going for Mystical Fire to KO that Shadow Star Raptor here. And we will see what the opponent has in the bag. It's a Propo Pass. Okay, really interesting. I have all those. So this could end quite interesting. Going for the Baldos before the Popo Pass can make it to a move. Will this Baldos be an instant KO? Not yet, almost. But it was on a CMP, so it could still be interesting. Opponent, Zep Cannon. Um, okay, it's not great at all. I'm just licking it down and winning. <laughs> That's perfect. So, uh, yeah, third match of the second streak. Here we go. And once again, mm. Munchlegs is very great. So against, right now against Knot, <laughs> Knot, uh, going Driftblim against a regular Star Raptor this time. Oh, no, 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 I don't like Lux, Shadow Lux right here at all. Bones will go for Psychic Things, I expect, soon. Yeah, I think uh, a Lux Ray overall is pretty great. He will go for not a Wild Charge, okay? I will just go and make it to a Body Slam here, why not? Seeing how uh, the opponent responds to this. He's going to shield it. Pretty interesting decision. You know, I want I will shield one one time as well. Bone goes for psychic things. Ah, maybe I could have survived it, but we can we could better just not risk anything here. I'm going for body slam. It will be shielded, no problem. I could go for Empelion here to be in a more safe spot because I don't think an Hex will be enough. Yeah, I will just shield it. Oh, it's just a Psychic Fang. Okay, no problem. Which Pokemon will the opponent bring? Star Raptor? Oh no! He has two Electric types. In his team, uh, opponent has a gust uh, star raptor. I will just go for a mystical fire here. It should be uh, fine. No opponent wins the CMP. Oh, that's awful. Opponent will go for fly. No close combat. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, I want to undercharge it. I'm going just for nice. 
I think that's the perfect undercharge. Yes, I can go for waterfall. For a waterfall. Hopefully opponent made it to a move. If this is the wild, I think it's the wild charge and that will KO me. Yes, it will KO. Oh, really nice plate from the opponent. I couldn't do much. Um, yeah. Couldn't do much against it. So, um, into the fourth match of the second streak. Mm. We'll see how this one goes. Hopefully great, but... Um, yeah, two wins, two one lose. Hopefully, we will win at least one more time. Okay, finally, after some errors, I found an opponent. Uh, we're starting right now. Driftling against Empelion. It's a pretty interesting one. I know five times, three. Four, five, and I will make it catch on my own Empelion. Perfect. He love to see it. Really, really like it. Hydro Cannon. Very nice catch. And the problem for my opponent is he cannot catch this. Will he just go for the Mystical Fire? Or I don't know. I think he may go for it. But... No, he just. Why Icy Winds? Hmm. Pretty interesting. Going for the Hydro Cannon. That will be definitely be shielded, I expect. Yes, perfect. I will just wait till uh, the opponent throws another move to KO me. Will he go for another Icy Wind? Pretty curious about that. Because I don't really care. Um. Just go here for Mystical Fire to KO the opponent. I think that's just safe to go for. Perfect. Opponent goes into his Impelion. I will just launch a very strong Shadow Ball here. I think that's fine to go for right now. It will be shielded. That means it's time for my Munch Legs. Um. No, I don't need to shield one in the first Hydro Cannon. Opponent throws in a Shadow Trapion. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's good that I get my shields because this one is pretty painful. He will go for Aquatil. Off after Aquatil, after Aquatil. I will go for Baldos. This will deal for super effective only once, but maybe. It will do a little bit more than that. Ooh, amazing amount of damage it deals. Um, no, bone may just hit me. Okay, opponent will force me down. No problem. I don't know if I can make it to the mystical fire. I cannot. Really nice plays from the opponent. Maybe I had to go for that uh, shield on munch legs. Yeah, I just didn't want to risk anything. Mm. But yeah, right now into the last match of the second streak. Two wins to two loses. Hopefully we will win. We're going right now. Three, oh, not a dream lead, but a decent lead. Drift Blim against Toxic Croak. Yeah, you may go for a Shadow Ball, so I will just shield it. Just to be safe. It's the Shadow Ball. That means I will shield it. I will throw my own Shadow Ball here. Maybe he's already happy with and just in a shield advantage. Yes, he's very happy with that. Yes, we seeing perfect the best Theodon. That means it's time for oh munch legs, but the problem from the opponent is he cannot do much against me. 
what he can only do is just lower my attack and that's it he will not deal much amount of damage huge amount of damage so i can just go pretty easily for some body slams here and there that just won't do anything but at least i think i've won <laughs> because i still have pelion in the le leg opponent just needed to shield his uh, toxic croak so i'll just continue opponent goes for another mystical fire that's fine can handle that still continuing with those legs and at least i can ko the opponent opponent throws in his best on last pokemon i will just lower his attack to a maximum that's just the best thing to go for mm -hmm. i'm continuing going for another mystical fire he will be two times debuffed so that's perfect continuing maybe i can make it to another one yes definitely i can make it to another one going for another mystical fire <laughs> he is already three times debuffed his stone edge for just do absolutely nothing at all stone edge it's not even KOing me. I'll just go for the Baldos and then switch into my Empelion. Opponent is even shielding it. Going for my Empelion. If this is the stone, if then I want to see how less the amount of damage it does. Flamethrower isn't dealing much again as well. Opponent commits the match and I'm winning once again three matches in a streak. So that's perfect. Playing my rewards, getting in Lowland Fall picks as a reward. Maybe it's on new. I don't know. Um Fall picks. Not the best at all, but it's fine. Claiming my rank back to twenty three thirty six. Let's hop into the last streak of this video. Um, oh, I crashed. Yes, once again, into the last streak. First match of the third streak. And we only need to win at least twice, so hopefully we can do that. Against Jack BC. I'm going triple him against Toxic Croak. Um, opponent brings in a Licky Tongue. Just I will just throw my Empelion. I think that's a uh, very nice lead. Just surprise me with an with an attack. I will say. I think a Body Slam. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I never saw Licky Tongue battling at all, but it's fun to see how his licks are. I will just shield it because I want to leave here with switch advantage. Because otherwise my Munchlix is pretty much dead to the Toxic Croak. I will go here for Hydro Cannon. That deals massive damage. I love that. Opponent will bring back his Toxic Croak, I expect. Yes, I will just throw in Hydro Cannon before he may catch me or something. Uh, Hydro Cannon got shielded. Opponent made it to a little bit of farm here. Oh, beautiful catch on a Scum Tank from the opponent. I will just go over here for Mystical Fire. It gets at least that attack drop. Making that catch on my Munch Legs. I don't know how I did it, but very happy with it. 
crunch won't do much not even getting that attack drop that brings me into a very comfortable spot my legs are doing quite some damage i expected a little bit less but opponent goes for another crunch still not a an attack drop going here for a body slam seeing if the opponent will shield it i don't think he will that means i will throw another body slam and because i've already almost made it to a shadow ball i think i've won body slam chaos the scum tank i can make it to the shadow ball and this will be able to KO that Toxic Rogue. And that means I'm winning. I expected that this team will be a lot worse than... <laughs> yeah, thinking, but... I'm very happy. So let's hop right now into the second match of the third streak. And we will see how this will go. And overall, yeah, I think Munchlax is quite of an interesting one, but I don't know if maybe a Licky, oh no, it's not a Licky Tongue, uh, if Licky Lick, I think I'm saying it right, is better than Munchlax. But right now, into second match against Mustafa Savadi. Um, starting against, oh, another Gly score. I will throw straight up my munch legs. I think that's the best option. Oh, opponent will go for a very nice over farm. He may go for an earthquake right now. This could be quite interesting. No, it's just a night slash. No, no. I saw it. I saw that he got the tag drop. Body slam. Oh, at least the opponent just switched. Very happy with that. Maybe I can make it to a bulldoze. No, I cannot. But at least I can make it to a body slam here. This will definitely be important for later. Body slam. Quite some damage. This could be shadow ball. I will just shield. Just to be safe. Yes, it's the shadow ball. Perfect. I think I can go for that hex farm down. Yes. Opponent will bring back his Gliscor. Yes, that means I'm going for Mystical Fire. I think he will shield. I will switch into Empelion. And opponent commits the match. No way. Didn't expect that overall, but made it at least to 8 wins. So perfect. Really like that. And right now into the third match of the third streak. Eight wins. Mm. We can at least make it still to 11. But we will see how this will go. We're going against Thomas Inc. Going uh, triple him against Munchlax. Oh, seeing the Munchlax as well. Love that. Going into Empelion. Wait, is this a munch, munchlex with, I think it's with the leg, but I, I'm not sure about that. This is the body slam at least, I know that. Uh, getting a bit of lag there. Uh, pretty interesting why the opponent isn't switching. Maybe he's just completely broken by Impellion in the back. I'm just throwing Hydro Cannon. That did quite some damage. Do I want to shield? No, I don't need to. I hope at least I can make it to one more hydro cannon. Perfect. Will the opponent throw his last shield right now? We will see. Hydro cannon gets the last shield already from the opponent. I don't know why, but. I will throw my own munch legs. Yes, he has a different kind of attack. 
Does he has tackle on it? <laughs> I'm noticing maybe tackle is a bit better. <laughs> yeah, it's right. You can have tackle on it. <laughs> I really don't know. Go for body slam that at least KOs the munch legs. Which I think he has a Bastiodon, yes. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, thank goodness he switched. <laughs> Going here for a Drift Limb. Mystical Fire. There's some huge amount of damage against it. Frostless, I need to save at least one more shield for my Munchlax later. Opponent goes for Avalanche. You know I want to throw at least two of those Mystical Fire, so... That's why I'm going right now for Mystical Fire. That's okay amount of damage. No, I cannot make it to another one. That's a little bit unfortunate. But I can at least make it to one more to get another attack drop. Switching into my munch legs. On a CMP, winning the CMP, going for the Baldos. This will not KO the best Yodon yet. It will do massive damage. I will shield it. I have to shield it. There's no other choice. And this will be a close one, I think. We'll continue with, I think I have one. Continuing with the licks. Opponent made it to a move. I don't think this stone edge is enough. It's the flamethrower. Oh, that's weaker. And I can lick down and mind flex. Just did it once again. I love it. Going into the fourth one of the third streak. Already three wins in the streak. Make it, made it to nine wins. So maybe the tenth one will be nice against the Wet Sea. Interesting name. Um, Drift Blim against Gastrodon. Oh, Dream Lead. Bone will definitely switch into an Impellion we see. I'll just throw one Mystical Fire, then I will switch into my own Impellion. So the opponent won't go for super effective damage later on me. Mystical Fire did quite some damage. This Hydro Cannon won't do much. Hydro Cannon, no, I can pretty easily tank that. No problem. Um, yeah, I will just let this go. Maybe I won't be able to make it to two Hydro Cannons, but that's fine. Opponent throws in a Gastrodon, going into my Hydro Cannon. This will deal for massive damage that I like. Yeah, I cannot uh, outpace them to another Hydro Cannon. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I was switch timers are misaligned. Wait, the game just lagged a lot. That's why I couldn't make it to a Mystical Fire a little bit earlier. Yes, and it is just a CMP. Ah, you have to be kidding me. Um, opponent goes for triple axle. No, 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 no. That's awful. Uh, that means I will just let this triple axle just go. Because this, the third one will be stronger. Yeah, I don't really care that I have to throw a shield here on this, uh, into this uh, frostless. That's fine. Triple axle won't do much because I've shielded it, and I will go for the lake farm down. Making it then to a body slam, I could tr 
go for some leaks here, but that's fine. Body slam, another body slam. I love all of those body slams here. Switching into Drift Limb, opponent cannot do much against it. Body Slam, there's absolutely nothing. And he commits the match before he dies. That results into another win. Just, there's just no way that I'm do, doing this. Going into the last match of this video, already made it to 10 wins. It's just amazing. I love it. The last match of this video. Hopefully this one will be great. We will see. At least we're going right now against Julian. Julian. Um, we're going Drift Limb against Empelion. Um, not the best one. I'll just do the same like previous match, just going for the mystical fire and then switching into my own rebellion. I think that's the best one. Opponent goes at least for a move, didn't expect it to death. Hydro cannon won't do much. Opponent st stays in. I will just go and try to go for that waterfall, waterfall farm down. <laughs> Hydro cannon, fine. Opponent, I think a bronze song we see here. I think at least. Hydro cannon. So, okay, amount of damage. I can make it to another Hydro cannon, no way. Ooh, that's amazing. This Hydro cannon. Get shielded. That leaves with a very nice shield advantage. Uh, I will shield it. I really don't know which move this is. <laughs> no, it's just a side shock. Uh, I think I just can go for that hex farm down. I'm not sure about it. Okay, perfect. Hex farm down. Oh, opponent. Oh, ah, I forget. Forgot he is still got in his uh, billion with one HP. Oh, a Warmadon. Ooh, that's an interesting one. That means he has to shield this mystical fire to survive. Going into Munch Legs. It's a shiny one, pretty interesting. Uh, I think expect an iron hat here. So the first one I will just let go, maybe second one I will shield. Because that bug bus deals much more. But I think I will just win this because Munchlax is just the tankiest Pokemon. However, Warmadon is pretty tanky as well, so yeah, that's just another thing. <laughs> I will just continue here. I really like that he got to Confusion Pokemon. Here, but those are not the best one. Bone goes for Iron Head, no problem. And opponent commits, and that means five wins in a streak. Eleven wins a total. I love it. And it's the first time I'm doing the Hisui Cup, so amazing, amazing score. I have to say. Oh, I have to first catch the Meryl, no problem. Uh, then only claim the Stardust and we can claim our rank and I think we made it back to 2400 with this team. I'm not sure but we will see. Yes, 2406, perfect. But overall, Munchlax is just amazing. I love his tankiness and other aspects of it. And yeah, I hope... Uh, it will do uh, better and better in the upcoming videos, maybe. So, further than that, 
I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, please like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. And hopefully you have a very nice day. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.